Well, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Gavin Murphy, and today we got ourselves an interesting video. We're using a team that I built for $20 in the last video. So, context I was actually debating if I want to make this team and actually battle with it, but the night before this up this upload, so well, the night before that $20 video went up, I actually decided, like, yeah, I'm just gonna build the team because why not? I think it'd be pretty fun. And that same night, I actually came up with a bunch of crazy synergy that I think could actually work. So, here we are battling with this mash of a team that I made. I got all the Pokemon in order. So starting with round one, we draft the Charizard for four dollars. Um, G Max Zard, Shiny, with the Solar Power and Heat Wave, Air Slash, Solar Beam, Protect. We got Sableye running Willow with Knockoff, Sunny Day, and Quash. So like I said, it's gonna be a Sun team. So I'm gonna have Sableye set up Sun in a pseudo manner and do things like that. Um, Quash is just for us to buy, bypass speed checks and manner. Um, really, I'm not going to do a whole rundown of the whole team. Besides this, we got Scrafty, and for this Scrafty, we're going to fake out Thunder Punch, Drain Punch, Assurance. This is going to be more of a support oriented Scrafty, so we, uh, Thunder Punch is made to counter a lot of the things Charizard may be weak to. Um, Assurance, I actually got a funny story about that. I'll say that for the future, but it's still a good move. And we're running Lumberry. Um, shout out to Michael the Squirtle. The reason we're running Lumberry is because during one of our, during one of my um, practice sessions with him, we were talking, and he said. I'm tired of running Assault Vest, and I said, you know what, I agree. So this is a shout out to him. And the other thing I can think of is Clefairy with Friend Guard, which will reduce the damage we take by 25%. If Clefairy is out there, like after you, Helping Hand, Life Do, follow me. We're supposed to have Heal Pulse instead of Life Do, but I had to get it through an Egg Move, through Aromatisse, and I didn't want to go through that whole process, so I was sticking with Life Do as originally intended. Uh, we just gotta make sure we can't do it in front of ink that Water Absorb, or, or at least Storm Dam. I don't think Water Absorb takes life do and you guys know how I feel about that like I don't like it when Pokemon don't have at least one attacking move because you never know we're gonna be in a 1v1 and you need that and we're also in Master Ball tier I forgot to tell y'all we got to here a couple weeks ago with my Trick Room team that I built playing off screen because obviously I haven't been recording anything like this in what four months so yeah we're in Master Ball tier playing with this team and we dropped down 5,000 ranks for not playing for a couple weeks Okay, this is actually pretty good, I guess. Um, this is perfect because question of the day, what record do you think I will get? Um, for myself, I think I'm going to realistically... I think this team could definitely go 3-3. Three and three. I think if I go 3-3, three and three, that's a success. 2-4 um, and four will also be a success because this is a team I made literally two, 10 minutes. Um, the thing is, like, since I'm at Master Ball tier, and this is the 27th I'm recording this at night because I don't know if I can record this in the morning. Um... Yeah, I don't feel there, there's gonna be more people in Master Ball team, meaning that everybody's kind of established in the Series 3 meta. So, hmm, right, my opponent's running a pseudo Wolf Glick team. The Light Part with the, the Uniclus. Uh, I don't like the Excadrill. We have Dusclops, Incineroar, and Togage Kiss. So, this is what I prepare for. We got Charizard and Running Clefairy. I'm running Clefairy because Clefairy has base 35 speed, meaning that it's slower than Rhyperior and Dusclops in Trick Room. So we got the after you to help us out in that regard. Um, my period is going to be a really great Pokemon to bring in this matchup. And Scrafty kind of rounds up the team really well. I was going to, I would like to bring Rotom Wash because Rotom Wash kind of can't get stopped. But we're going to play, we're going to do, we're going to have a little fun. I think that's a Moldbreaker Breaker Exit Girl. Just looking at the team like there's no need for it to be Sand Rush, especially if you're running a trick room, hard trick room that is. So this is the mode, like, I talked about in the video, like, I, if I ever make this team, I would never be able to use, like, Clefairy and Sableye the same, at the same time, because, you know, they're, like, polar opposites, and that's kind of the way I built them on purpose. So Clefairy is here to provide support overall for the whole team. Sableye is too, but Sableye is more so for the Zara to lead. Clefairy is here to just make sure that, hey, we don't get completely ruined with our setups. Like, right here, like, Charizard is really about to put in a lot of work. So I'm just gonna Dynamax and I think I'm just gonna G-Max Wildfire to the Togekiss slot. And I'm just gonna helping hand shard. So if we get rid of Togekiss, I, I don't know if this one shots. Oh yeah, that's one thing, like to expedite the process of this team, I really only have to breed the Clefairy and Sableye. And also Scrafty, because I decided at the last minute I didn't want to use any of my previous Scrafties. Um, everybody else we kinda already had. 
Um, I already had a bunch of Rotom that were just ready to be used. The Sharpirus from my Trick Room team I just mentioned earlier. And this is Charizard, a guy from a raid. Uh, shout out to Marcos for inviting me to that raid group. So now we just gotta wait for my opponent. Hopefully, I know they. There we go. I was gonna say, I hope they didn't go, go AFK because they chose their team really fast. And I'm surprised they haven't went Trick Room. Like, that's kind of bold. They didn't go Trick Room route. And they didn't switch out. So they could protect potentially. They could have ally switch, which is it's annoying playing against Toad Kiss and best of one. So we got the helping handoff. Let's see. G-Max Wildfire. So they did double down into the Charizard slot potentially. I think that's a one shot. With the set. What's that side? Yep, nope, one shot. Is Lariat. They must have predicted the, the follow me. They must have predicted follow me. That's the only thing I could think of. So this thing about the Charizard, like I said, we didn't optimize the team. I didn't take him to the optimization station, aka to damage calcs. Uh, besides Calc and Zard versus Rhyperior. That's the only thing I actually did calc. Um, so against Rhyperior, we have about a 95% chance to Oko with the max overgrowth if both Zard and Right, period, our Dynamax, and that's not including Helping Hand or whatnot. So, my Timid, Max, Special Attack, Life Orb, Zard, can get the KO. And if it doesn't get the KO, G Max Wildfire will, you know, finish the job off because of the residual damage. Words are hard. I'm really trying my best to play this well because. Okay, so the opponent has Ally Switch Dust Clops. I don't think it's gonna matter too much because. Okay, that might matter. That was half their HP gun right there. Parting shot. Okay. I respect that. So like I said, if they go for Trick Room, which I'm actually hoping for because, fun fact, I actually had this compared to be bold, but then I realized, like, wait, how come this speed's a little bit like too high compared to my right period? He's at level 100. Like, level 100 right here is like at 76 speed, and my prefer is like at 40 or something. I was like, something ain't right. And then I went to Showdown, checked it out. Turns out the right period that I was comparing it to originally was at level 100, for whatever dumb reason. So, I decided, you know what? We're gonna. We spent the mint to get this Kaferi at bold nature, so we had to spend another mint to get it to relax. So I spent 100 BP on Kaferi. So now I'm happy to see that, you know. It, it's paying off like that's all I can say like it's finally paying off because we can after you are faster Pokemon they do not know what they're setting themselves up for they don't realize that I'm gonna after you and just ruin them because Clefairy is slower about to find us out right now I, I know people don't like you when someone's calcing on the screen but I don't think my viewers aka the five y'all who are watching this or mine so Uniclus is at base 30. Okay, never mind. So we don't, we aren't guaranteed to get the KO. We proc their berry, which is fine. Okay, this is just got a little bit tricky. So the caveat is, the caveat to all this is, So I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna click life do. I'm gonna stall them out. I want them to realize either Trick Room is futile or Yeah, they're gonna have to come at me if they want. They want the smoke. Like, like I'm gonna stall out right now. Fake out. Called it. Like shade. Cool. Very flinch, can move. G Max Wildfire is eating away at them. So, so I'm gonna go for a heat wave. And I think I'm a helping hand. So getting hit with Nice Shade won't be beautiful. It will not. But uh, I'm trying to think. So I hit them with another G Max Wildfire when it came out. I think they gotta go through four full turns of the initial one they were exposed to. So 
So I'm at minus two, but I got helping handed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we can life do, I think. They got burnt, perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty well. Yeah, I'm gonna heat wave. So I'm gonna heat wave. Um, follow me. So Scrafty could definitely take on the center in a 1v1. Scrafty could also take on the Reuniclus once Trick Room is over. Who else do we have in the back? We got Rhyperior. Oh, we definitely got this. We got Rhyperior ready in the back. You know. So, this is basically the carbon copy of Wolf's slash Aaron trailer slash Justin Karras' um, Reuniclus. It's going to carry Thunder. Uh, I think Focus Blast as well. And uh, that's a Psychic type move, I know. So, it's going to follow me. A helping hand it. So there goes the psychic move. So we're in Mindstorm now. So thank you, Clefairy. Charizard went for Heat Wave. Dust Cops of Boys. That's fine. That's fine. You know, it's it's okay. So we're bringing Scrafty. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna definitely target down. Let me be real. They're gonna most likely target down Zard. So I think I'm gonna try to sack it off with the. They're gonna. I'm gonna protect. Try to potentially get sacked off, and I'm gonna go for the assurance into Reuniclus. Hopefully they target Zard and. Okay, helping hand. Cool. Protect. Wow. And Scrafty lived. Did Scrafty just live? Okay, Scrafty's the best Pokemon in the world. No one can take that away from him. That was the most clutch thing I've ever seen. Scrafty legit just ran that fade. Okay, so the Uniclus is slow. I think we're gonna have to double down into Dust Cops. The Uniclus can't knock out both of us. So we're gonna Heat Wave. That didn't do too much. So I lost HP. Scrafty went for Assurance. The perfect Womble combo. Because Assurance doubles if your opponent got attacked first. So, Max Overgrowth, you just helped me out. Oh, nope, that was smart. That was smart. So that was their third turn. So they went for... What grass type move does Re Reuniclus get? I'm, I'm curious. Like, I really want to figure this out. Let's see if I can get... I don't know, oh, yeah. Oh, Energy Ball. So, disclaimer, I don't know if I can get all three, like, episodes in. I really don't want to re recording during weird hours. The showdown does get weird around. I mean, that house game does get weird around this time. You know, time zones and things like that. But, you know, if it's for the content, you know, we gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, here's the tricky thing. One of my Pokemon are gonna get faked out. I think Zard gets the KO. I think Charizard does get the KO if it gets the Heat Wave off on both. So fake out. Cool. Charizard flinched. That's fine. Imperial Rock Slice. No! 
Yes! We got the flinch! Wow, RNG's on our side. We easily could have lost that right there. Okay. Okay, we can't play any games. We gotta we gotta get rid of the Reuniclus. We gotta get rid of the Reuniclus. Both moves kill miss potentially. And I will cry. Sorry, right, one for air slash. Reuniclus is gone. This is why Rock Slash is considered one of the best moves in the game. Zard faints. Oh nope, he didn't. What are you doing? Rock slide. You gotta win. One down, at least two more to go. As in for our record, so one and oh. Also, I should have said the question today was for like before you watched the video. Um, so one and oh right now. Uh, we're gonna get one more battle win. That was pretty intense. We started out really well. Hey, they gave ribbon to everybody. So we started out really well. And I think we were really dominant out right out the gate. Just that we didn't play well enough to like pivot around. We tried to pivot around their center and that was the wrong idea. You know, all they did was just bring a center back in to shut down Zard. All right, so we're playing up against a potential sand team. This is pretty standard. Like this is like series one as type of teams. Guess we got the Braviary, we got the Sand Team with Excadrill, Tyranitar, got Tojikiss, we have Grimmsnarl and Arcanine to worry about. So I already had this in mind. Like I said, I did a lot of thinking. So I'm gonna do Zard Sableye. I have Scrafty in the back. And Scrafty could really do some work in this type of you know game. Scrafty in the back. And um you know, the opponent really can't do anything to stop Brodom. So yeah, the, the opponents, they aren't running what I'm afraid of, which is Hard Rain, or potentially like Gyarados Raichu. So I'm not too fearful of what they got going for them. But nonetheless, that could still be very annoying to like, you know, deal with. So, we're going to do Zard Sableye. That's, I think that's the safest lead. So if they do something like, you know, Braviary, potentially, you know, we could burn it. If I were to burn potentially five out of the six Pokemon, it will be effective. I doubt the Arcanine, the Arcanine has to be special, like, the physical special split in this team is so off balance. There's three physical attackers, per, as in Tyranitar, Graviary, Excadrill. Um, Grimmsnarl is a physical Pokemon, but it doesn't really pack that much offensive prowess, as in you don't really use it for offense, and I think the opponent went the timer. So we're playing against Tyranitar, Graviary, Excadrill, Toad Kiss. I might, I'm gonna write that down. I mean, I don't have to because I can just look in game. Braviary, Excadrill, Toja Kiss. Unless those like their strategy. Nope, oh, never mind. They got their team in at the last minute. So they could potentially. They could potentially. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. So potentially. They could, you know, prankster Mazard, which won't be very cash money. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna knock off the Toja Kiss if I can. Just wanna see what item it has. It withdrew. Okay, Arcanine. They they predicted me to like G Max Wildfire the Toja Kiss slot. Which is the smart move, just that I learned from my last opponent. Learn, learn from your battles, people. Tech, Zard. Reflect. Okay. Definitely not what I wanted to see. Knock off. Safety goggles. So the question is, do I even want to, like... I really wanted to like go in with Zard because we had to stall out Grimmsnarl, I mean, which won't be that fun to do. I think they're gonna snarl us, so I say I say we go into Rotom. Yeah, we're just gonna go into Rotom. 
and I'm going to knock off the Grim Snarl. I just want the, the I just want their items gone. I know Grim Snarl is carrying light clay because that reflect kind of proved it. Key wave. <gasps> they think I'm a god. They have to think I'm a god. Knock off. Thank you. No more light clay. You know the crew. We didn't need that crew. Yep. So. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna try the nasty plot. And. So I'm a nasty plot. And I'm gonna quash the Arcanine slot. Because. Save I really can't do anything out of this. Save Light quashed. Move was postponed 2020 in a nutshell. Snarl, there we go. There we go. I, I've been around the block a few times. I know I know these setups. I, I was here's a fun fact. I was actually so I got Ayapapa on my Rotom. Basically gonna be a little bit bulky. I was actually like, you know, thinking potentially, you know, running. I was thinking like potentially I could run like a how do, how do I say it? I was thinking about running Words are hard. I'm, I know what I want to say. I was thinking about running Blunder Policy on Rotom because there's a chance I can miss Hydro Pump. So I was thinking next level like, well, if Zard is going to be doing most of my Dynamaxing, might as well, you know, have a backup plan. As in, like, if Rotom has to come out there with Zard, you know, if we have Blunder Policy and we mess with Hydro Pump, you know, we get double speed. And then essentially we all speed majority of the, you know, common Pokemons we'll see in the meta for sure. Barring a Scarf. Always stay hydrated, people. Okay, so save like quashes. My opponent does not believe in protect. Next geyser. Just have to make sure, because like I said, we're trying to bypass speed checks. Save like can't really do much in these positions, so yeah. I don't feel too bad just famous quash right there. And we one shot it through the light skin. And we got rain up, so yeah, we, we kind of just nuke the opponent. Okay, I don't like that damage. I don't like that damage, young sir. I have some weird luck with Sableye. So the first egg I hatched for the Sableye bread was a 6 IV Sableye. And then, this one I'm using right here, after a couple batches of... Know, being disappointed I end up getting one with the zero speed IVs which we were purposely breeding for and zero special attack um, so I would say it, that went well it, it worked out I'm a max lightning the toji kiss slot and I'm just gonna willow the grim they have to dynamax and Nope, they didn't Dynamax. Oh yeah, I forgot, I can't. I can't Prankster Dark type. Why do I keep forgetting that? Everybody forgot that at some point. And I'm thinking like, oh, I'm doing some A1 plays right here. Even though a lot of what I'm doing is on accident. I mean, I guess you could say like, oh, I'm wasting a turn. <laughs> that, that, that was, you see that? That was, that was purposely on purpose, you know? Like, I knew my Rotom was gonna have speed, so I just had to waste, you know, kind of just waste a turn of... I, I kind of just wasted a turn on purpose, you know. Y'all saw that. It, there was absolutely no other reason why I did that. You know, I'm not liking the damage that's going out on Sableye. I'm just going to switch it to Scrafty. I'm playing it safe because, you know, I don't know if it's true that the win margin you have affects how much rank you gain, but, you know, I'm just going to switch out. I just want to... Because I'm running a monkey team that only took 10 minutes to build, I want to make sure I get this W because we ain't guaranteed a W in the next one to potentially two episodes. Alright, Scrafty. Beast Ball. It's been a good minute since I battled with a non-Beast Ball Pokemon team. Okay, I take that back. I think one of my Pokemon on my Trick Room team doesn't have a Beast Ball. 
Yeah, I, yeah, the Venusaur isn't in the Beast Ball. I know that much. I feel like, man. You gotta have somebody in the back just ready to Dynamax if they're this all in on it. Foul play. They're gonna do a lot of damage because I'm max attack. Okay, they didn't do as much damage as I thought they would. And over crit. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I'm levitating. Oh, man, I should. I think that's what they're thinking. The opponent probably followed me on purpose so that if I potentially will a wisp myself, they are next level, man. And now my opponent is going to Dynamax. So, D e Bolt. Should I even focus on the Grimmsnarl? Nah. This could be weakness policy bravery already though. This game is far from over. So I say I ignore the I ignore bravery already right now. It's gonna Dynamax. I can't do much to stop it. But what I can do is though is uh, and I was thinking about running my Rotom Cut Spreads. The Rotom Cut Spread from the information I got from third parties was that it was purposely built to last Braviary's max airstreams. Of course, this is back when, like, what, Series... The team, that Rotom spread was made in Series 1, and I used it in Series 2. So it's a bit outdated, but it's funny that we're now running into a Braviary, and that data probably would have been a little bit useful. Max Knuckle. Okay. Okay, they think it's free out here. Wait, what? So we outspeed, which isn't too much of a shock. The light screen wore off. So if I call this right, as in Rotom wakes up, we get a T-bolt off, and then Scrafty potentially gets a Thunder Punch in, we should win. I think they put a little bit too much sauce on that play. And I'm surprised Rain is still up. Like I, it has to be over by this turn. It just has to. Rain has been up since turn two of the now it's turn three of the game. Because we dynamaxed that turn. So light screen won't be up as long because we got rid of the light clay. We don't woke up. T bolt. That didn't do anything. I'm actually shocked. They're not weakness policy. Okay. Rain stopped. It reflect wore off. Alright. So Zard is gonna be our late game sweep. Okay. So from this position. I'm gonna try to Do I risk the nasty plot? Yeah, I think I have to. I'm gonna nasty plot and I'm gonna Willow Wisp the Braviary slot. Willow. There we go. We hit all our we hit our moves. We hit them when they matter. And they're lumped. That okay, that explains a lot. Max Knuckle. Do they get the KO? They do not. But does Grimmsnarl double down into my slot? I, I Papa, I forgot. Oh man, good thing we didn't go for blunder policy. Nasty plot. Foul play into whom? Oh, I think we might have lost because of that. I do think we probably lost because of that play. So we're at plus two Braviary. Okay, I love the one my phone ran new rings out of nowhere. So
I'm gonna have to double down. I'm gonna have to pray that Zard or Rotom gets the KO. Man, they played it really well to bring it back. I just forgot that Levitate. I don't use Levitate Mons that much. In fact, this is the first time I used Rotom Wash. This gen, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, yeah, this gen I haven't used Rotom Wash at all. Oh, they didn't. Oh, thank God, they didn't go for T Wave. I thought he was going to T Wave me. Oh, do some shenanigans there. Charizard off spit, and we missed. That's beautiful. Not very effective, Rotom Faints. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's the game right there. Let's see, we got two more turns of Light Screen. I'm just gonna protect. Because they... I should have predict... I should have assumed it was probably gonna be a one berry. But I was... Yeah, it had to... I should have thought of that, because it couldn't have been safety goggles, obviously. Honestly, the only thing that could save us would have been to have Rhyperior. But then again, I wouldn't because they're probably carrying a superpower. T-Wave, there it is. Why did they set Reflect up then? That was a waste of a turn. Alright. There's a chance T-Wave could miss. Mind you, there's a chance it could miss, but I don't think... Nah, this, two, this plus two should knock us out. GG to the opponent. They played that well in the crit. I, nah, that crit doesn't matter. I, you can calculate if you want, y'all. Like I said, max special attack, max speed. I don't think that mattered. They played that really well, like, I made mistakes, particular, nah, I can't, I can't even say like that, you know, not going for the T-Bolt didn't matter, um, it definitely did, like, I was thinking like, oh, you know, if we get this Will-O-Wisp off, we should be fine, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, um, really wish I played that second battle a little bit better, um, we made some good reads at the start, switching out when we needed to, playing it as well as we could, uh, but, yeah, didn't go the way we wanted to. That snarl they got in the screens made a difference. I wish they did play Scrafty a little bit better, though. If I wasn't afraid, I probably would have went for it. I was thinking about it. Y'all said, y'all saw me. I said, I think this weakness policy was, you know, let's not attack in that slot. I should have went for it. Should have just T-bolted and T-bunched that turn. Called it a day. But that's it. It wouldn't be fun if I got 2 0 right now because that's one of the quotas we're hitting. But we're going to try to hit 3 and 3 at least. We do better than that, that'll be a miracle. Anyway, guys, I'm about to get out of here. Gates full open, and it's very late at night, as in it's just hit midnight. So, bye.